let me tell you something. Do not give up on yourself. I am an underdog who blew up on YouTube. I always knew that I was smart. I always knew that I was valuable. I always knew that I was worthy. But sometimes you get blocked by seeing other people who are winning and how they look and how they show up. And, and I'm going to be honest with you. Those people we looked up to on Instagram who we thought was so pretty and had the life we wanted, a lot of them have fallen because trying to sustain a look or a certain lifestyle gets exhausting you know and i don't know what's going on right now but all i know is that we are hurting as humans and it's we're tired of the nine to five we're tired of trying to keep up this certain lifestyle our finances are waning and I feel like people like me, the underdog, the person that doesn't look the part, you know, that doesn't look like the person, we are turning our eyes to those people more now because we are, we, we're so beaten down financially. We don't, I don't know exactly what it is and maybe you can tell me, but we're looking to just regular people now because I just feel like we see ourselves in them. You know, and I just want to be an inspiration to any underdog out there, somebody who is at the top who has fallen. I want to remind you that you don't have to work that hard. You don't have to try to be perfect. You don't have to try to be that perfect anymore. You don't have to post once a week anymore. You don't have to wait until you get your makeup done or your hair done or your brows done or your lashes done. You don't have to even wait until you have money. I was just, I didn't have any money just five weeks ago. And then I, I got a YouTube check for over $6,000. And now I'm like, I'm able to take a break. I'm able to travel. I'm, I'm able to spend time with my family. You know, this is the time now where you can manifest your destiny, where you can show up looking how you are. But a lot of people don't believe that, you know, because you're so used to people saying, you better not look like that. You better not show up looking like that. But I feel like God has, a, God has a need for people who are not afraid anymore to show up with no makeup on. To show up and just be themselves. A lot of you are holding yourself back because you don't have the perfect look or the perfect weight. But I, I'm telling you right now, this is the season for the underdog. This is the season for the underdog. If you are someone who you don't have a lot of money, you don't look the certain look a certain way, this is the season where we are all. This is like when we had to stay at home during COVID. This is a season where we are all kind of the same as far as like finances, not having a certain amount. This is the season where when you show up, people understand you. Don't matter what you look like, don't matter what you sound like, it don't matter. People are understanding you now and I just feel like if you miss this moment trying to show up perfect and pretty if you miss this moment because you don't understand how to do it just turn on your just turn on your iPhone turn on your camera and just start talking about your experience what you're going through what you're feeling even if you're at your lowest moment turn it on the camera and talking about that you never know who wants to send you money to your cash app Someone, someone asked me the other day, they said, how did you raise money online? What, how did you word it? How did you lay it out? I told them all I did was I showed up desperate and needing help. I didn't have a way to say it. I, w I, didn't, have, I didn't have a certain way that I was going to word it. I just was desperate and I needed help. I knew that I wanted to get the loose skin removed because I lost over 100 pounds. I knew that I, I didn't want to live a life anymore the way I was living it. I knew that I wanted more. I knew that I just, I wanted to live abundantly. You know, I didn't want to stay living in an area that wasn't serving me. I wanted more out of life. And so, you know what I say? You know what? I can work for it, but it's going to take me forever. You know, I can sit here with this loose skin for the next 10 years, or I can say, you know what? Let me go online and let me, let me let people know, Hey, you know, I, I lost the weight and now I need money for surgery. You never know what happened. Yeah, people talked about me, 
But the people who remembered my journey, because I shared my 100 pound weight loss online, the people who remembered my journey, they donated. And I raised over $24,000 and it was hard. It was, I got a lot of backlash, but I got the surgery and now I'm living the life that I've always dreamed of after losing 100 pounds. And I still need loose skin removal surgery on my arms, but now I have a YouTube where I'm getting paid. I'm I'm getting paid to to post on YouTube now, and soon I'll have the money for my surgery, you know. And I kept going. I just showed up desperate and needing help. And a lot of people don't want to do that. They're afraid to put themselves out there. People ask me how was I able to grow over forty thousand followers on YouTube in just a few weeks, because I showed up desperate and and needy and and I wasn't afraid of what people thought about me and I sh I shared with y'all that I've been late on my rent you know that I didn't have money to even attend the conference and you sent me money on my cash app I wasn't I'm not afraid I'm at a point in my life right now I don't care how I look anymore to people I just want out of a situation and I'm willing to do whatever it takes to share whatever I need to share to show up however I need to show up to say whatever I need to say and to express or cry or whatever I need to do to get out of my current situation that I'm in. Because I can't work a certain amount of hours to make the money I need. I, I work 18 hours in a day and still couldn't get to where I wanted to get to. And I just was like, you know what, let me just start a YouTube. Let me put myself out there. You know, let me share. Because I'm at a point in my life where I'm tired of being where I'm, where I'm at. And I'm tired of being afraid to share. And so I said, you know what, let me be more vulnerable. Let me just be more vulnerable. I'm not perfect. I don't have the perfect thumbnail. I don't have the perfect video. I don't have the perfect equipment. But let me just be more vulnerable. Let me put myself out there. I want more out of life, you know? And I, and, and I don't want to go to school. I don't want to get a degree. I don't want to work a job that, that I hate. So let me just be more vulnerable. Let me put myself out there. Let me do what others are scared to do so I can have the life that others don't have because they're afraid. I'm willing to do whatever I need to do to no longer be an underdog. I'm willing to put myself out there. And you have to ask yourself, are you willing? A lot of people are saying, you know, that they're not growing. Their numbers are not growing. Their YouTube's not growing. Have you been vulnerable enough? Have you put yourself out there? Have you did things that you're scared to do? Because at one point I was paying my rent late every day, every month. And I was like, okay, what can I do? How can I put myself out there? You know, not get another job, not, but what can I do? And I'm like, there's so many people making good money on social media, just being themselves. They're making really good money on YouTube, just being themselves. And they started at their lowest. They started looking the raggediest. They started with no money. And now they are millionaires, billionaires, simply from starting their YouTube. You'll never know how much money they make, but I'm the kind of person, I don't just watch people. I watch how they move. I watch how they move. And I see their lifestyle. They're taking trips. They're buying things. They're making good money on social media. I don't just watch people to be entertained. I watch people to see how can I do the same thing so I can have the same type of lifestyle. That's how you have to do if you want to. You can't just waste time watching other people. They should be watching you. And so... I did all those things and you know and now it's like I'm finally coming up out of the dirt and able to live a life I've always dreamed of I see other people living it I know it's possible for me I know it's possible for me so I just wanted to make this video to encourage any of the other any any of the underdogs out there anyone who's in a situation where you feel like life is just suff you're suffering put yourself out there in a way where I'm the kind of person, I don't really care what anyone thinks because I've seen too many people win, you know, to focus on losing. So I just, I hope this, this video encouraged you, you know, just if you are at a low point right now, stop worrying about what people think, stop caring about how you're going to look and just put yourself out there. Social media, you can make some really good money. Ah! Ooh, okay. No, no. All right. Bug. You can make some, you know what? <laughs> okay. I think it's time for me to be done. I think I'm done. But seriously though, you know, just put yourself out there, y'all. And don't let nothing stop you. 
even a bug who just tried to attack me. <laughs> I love y'all. Bye.